Are you serious? Are we talking Mark of the Beast now? What? Are we talking about a, a microchip that they want to put in your hand? Folks, it's already the law of the land. It was passed in the Obamacare bill. And now, and I last I, I talked about this last year when it first went, went through. Nobody's listening. Well, now maybe you will because the date has been set when every person in the United States of America must receive the microchip, the uh, RFID chip, okay? Radio frequency identification device. When are you going to have it? March 23rd, 2013. You've got about a year. What? Let's read. Here's what it says. Hang on now. Hang on. Now I'm going to tell you what the Bible says. Let me read to you the actual law in the land. This new health care, or known as Obamacare, law requires an RFID chip implantable in all of us. This chip will not only contain your personal information, with tracking capability, but it will also be linked to your bank account. And get this, in page 1004 of the new law, dictating the timing of this chip, it reads, and I quote, not later than 36 months after the date of the enactment, it is now the law of the land that by March 23rd, 2013, we will all be required to have an RFID microchip underneath our skin and this chip will be linked to our bank accounts as well as have our personal history records and tracking capabilities or GPS built into it now listen to this on Sunday March the 21st 2010 the United States Senate Senate excuse me United States Senate health care bill known as HR 3200 was passed and signed into law the following Tuesday. On page 1004 of this new law, it tells us that there has to be a microchip. Now it's called the the law is called HR 3200, section 2521, page 1001, paragraph 1, and I'll quote. I'll read it. The secretary shall establish a national medical device registry in this subsection referred to as the registry the, to facilitate the analysis of post-market safety and outcome data on each device that is or has been used in or on a patient that's your medical health records and is a class 3 device or a class 2 device that is implantable life supporting or life sustaining that's your financial information your bank accounts you your life su supporting information is your your bank accounts your life sustaining information is your medical records okay so your data your data your bank account your history your medical history the types of prescriptions you're on your social security number your date of birth your current residence and oh by the way anywhere you go and everywhere you go they can track it because it is also a GPS it is a microchip it's called a radio frequency identification device yeah, they already have them the technology's here the the laws already been passed it's now a matter of implementation and it's required under the law of Obamacare to be done in March of 2013 so Paul, will it really is it really going to happen? Well, you ask yourself this question. When I listen to the different Republicans that are running for president, it doesn't matter which one they are, and I don't care which one. I'm not for. I'm not endorsing anybody. I'm just telling you that every one of them, when there was at one time nine of them on the stage, they all said this one same thing: if elected, they would repeal Obamacare. Now, so the question will be, you, when you ask me, will this implementation of this new device actually happen? Well, you, you answer the question for me. Who will be the President of the, the United States on March the 23rd, 2013? You answer that question, and I'll answer whether or not it's implemented. And this is where we stand. The law's already passed. The technology already exists. 
and the method and the reason has already been established within the the, the the realms of the halls of Congress and upon 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. I'm going to read a scripture what the Bible says. If you go to Revelation 13, let's answer this question. Go to Revelation 13, 13. Let's begin to read. And he doth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed and he caused all both small and great rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is the wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six are we on the brink of the beast are we on the edge of eternity is there something biblically going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ Will this radio frequency identification device have anything to do with the scriptures I just read? The technology certainly could be used to implement the very things about you can't buy or sell unless you have the mark. Certainly, the law has already been passed, scheduled to be implemented. But is it anything to do with what I just read here? That's the question. That is the question that requires a spiritual revelation. And I can tell you now, you will never get spiritual revelation unless you first require and receive, I should say, biblical information. And then through the power of the Holy Spirit, be led to understand the true manifestation. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. I'm just asking the questions. I'm going to put it right here on the table. Bill H.R. 3200, Section 2521, page 1001, paragraph 1, does require that a device be implanted, a device that contains the... We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.